Welcome to this video. My name is Michael and today I'm going to do a car review of this car. It's a Porsche Cayman 987. This car is from 2007. It's a mid-engine car. It's the bigger brother to the Porsche Boxster and also the younger brother to the 911. The 911 has the engine in the back, the Porsche Cayman has the engine in the middle. The engine in this car is a 2.4 liter mid-engine. It has 245 horsepower and this specific car is manual and it has five gears. So looking at this Porsche from the outside, I think it has the classic Porsche look. It is actually 15 years old and it's a car that is still to this day very nice and it is actually affordable these days. So let's jump inside and I'm going to show you the inside. The inside is very much Spartanian. It has a Spartan look to it. It's very basic. There's nothing crazy. There's nothing, not much luxury going on. But still, Porsche has made a design that works 15 years later. The steering wheel, it's very basic, no buttons. So it's very clean and simple. And as you can see in the mid panel, simple and clean design. You have the CDs up here. So it's pretty old school in that way. You will need some CDs, some mixtape for this car. It doesn't have any Bluetooth. You have the cup holders here, which uh, still look similar to the ones that Porsche is making today. The seats are looking pretty good as well. Nothing crazy there, but uh, they're simple and clean. So overall of this inside, I think Porsche has done a great job because they created something that is timeless and was working when they made this car 15 years ago and is actually working today as well. I think that's something that Porsche has done uh, very well with this car. If you compare this interior to the Porsche 996, where a lot of people are complaining about the interior and it's not holding up so well 15 or 20 years later after they made it, this interior is actually looking really good and it has a timeless design to it today as well. When you're buying a sports car like this, you might be wondering, is it practical? I would say yes and no, of course. It's a sports car, so it's not uh, super practical. But you have a trunk and you also have a frunk in the front. So if you compare it to like a normal car, of course, you can't fit a lot of stuff. But if you compare it to any other sports car, I think that this is uh, very good. And you can actually bring a lot of stuff with you. I work as a filmmaker and sometimes in my work on set or during production I need to bring a lot of gear with me. I kind of think that that was a problem when I bought this car, but uh, it has actually worked well for me. Of course when I need to bring a lot of stuff I need to have a, another car, but for most of the shoots that I've done I can actually use this car and I can bring more stuff than you actually think. But of course it, it gets full pretty quickly because I need to fill up the frunk first and then the trunk and then that's pretty much it. But if you're gonna use this car for like smaller holidays and so on and you need to go away for like a week or for a holiday or just a weekend, I think this car is perfect because uh, yeah, you don't need more space than that. And the plus side is that you get a fun car to drive. And also if you're driving this in the cities and you need to park it or in like a parking spot or a parking garage, it's, uh, it's a small car. So it is simple and it's easy to, to fit. And now you might be wondering, what is the cost of this type of car? I bought this car four years ago, back in 2018 in Sweden, and I paid tw around $26,000 for it. The insurance cost for me is around $100 per month for this car and the fuel consumption is around, around 1 liter per 10 kilometers, I would say. To the main question, is this car fun to drive and is it fast? Super fast? No. 
but it's definitely fast enough, I think, in this price range, you probably can't find a better car and more fun car to drive, I would say, if you're looking in the sports car segment. And, but that's what I'm thinking, but don't just take my word for it. I think we're gonna jump to some footage and see what my dad says about this car. He is actually driving a Tesla today, so I think it's fun to hear what, uh, what he has to say about it, because he's driving a new electric car, and this car is not electric and it's definitely not new. Yes, it's fun to drive. And I feel that uh, this six-cylinder boxer engine sounds very good. It's a fast car, it's enough, and you can feel the road when you're driving it. Very timeless, and it's, you also can see that it's, it's a real Porsche. The inside of the car is very timeless. Today, 15 years later, it's still up to date. The overall of this car is, it looks good and it's fun to drive. Interesting, interesting. So, as I was saying before, I think that in this uh, sports car segment, and if you're looking to buy in the lower price range, I think this is the best car you can get. I haven't driven a lot of sports car, but uh, when I'm looking around, I don't see that there is a lot of cars that you can buy around $25,000, or even today you can maybe get one of these for $20,000. So I think there's a lot of car and a lot of value for that price range. Some people drive this to have in the summer or for track days. I think it works perfectly for that. But I actually think that this is a car that you can use every day and all year round. I've been using this in Sweden all year round and it's been working for me, even in winter times. And if you're looking in this price range, I think that it's hard to compete and find something that is uh, looking this good, is this fun and that you actually can and that you want to drive all year round. Because if you're starting to pay like maybe 50 or $100,000 for your car, a sports car, you maybe want to use it for the summer and not the winter anymore. With this type of car, you get more fun out of it. And if you have another everyday car driving around, I think this is a perfect extra car. And it is not super expensive if you compare it to a lot of other cars on the market. Or if you just want to take this car and bring it to the track on the weekends, I think it's uh, perfect for that. I've been doing it once and it was a great time. I loved it. And the beautiful thing about that is that I actually drove this car to the track two hours. I drove it around the track the whole day. I used it very hard. And then at the end of the day, I drove it home from the track two hours. We are coming to an end for this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. I love this car. I've been having it for four years. I'm gonna sell it now, but it's one of my best uh, purchases, uh, definitely. So I'll see you in another video. Like and subscribe and thank you and bye.